you know, I'm, they want me to start selling it before they build them. So I don't know what I'm selling because I ain't seen it. So he wanted me to see it so I could sell it before, you know. But once we do one, then we'll build another building, another building. There's going to be a hundred units, you know. Is he recording? Yeah, he's always recording. You're going to be on YouTube. No. This might be the beginning of your channel. All right, here we are, Jordan Hare Stadium. Check this out. Blake is doing his thing, and we're up here just crushing it. Got the development thing worked out. We're here shooting a little bit in front of Jordan Hare Stadium. So about to head back, three hour drive. Trent said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one lost, no one's around for you. Today, me and Blake traveled to Auburn. Fun fact, this building next to me was actually, it's actually in my, my wife's uncle's name, John Overton Auditorium. And that's because my wife's grandfather, he worked to put his brother through school. And then his brother worked up to a certain point and he donated a million dollars to Auburn and they named this auditorium after him. So Auburn is real big on my wife's side of the family. I'm an Alabama fan, I went to Alabama, so what am I doing at Auburn today? I had to come up here, it's a three and a half hour drive, to meet with my developer. Um, a Sea Pines developer in Foley. Um, we're doing another 100 units. Sea Pines is 80 units. We're halfway through that development. Wild Palms is going to be 100 units. And I came up here to meet with him to look at the product. They have a lot of these townhomes already built, so he wanted me to see exactly what we're going to be selling down there. So I came up here to do that. Me and Blake just decided to stop by Auburn University and get a little footage and uh, just check out the place. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. Never panic. Get a worry, send it up and then it vanish. Ooh, I can't stand it. I don't want the way you move and see you scrambling. Okay, made it to Auburn, and uh, this right here is the product that we're gonna start building in Foley. Really nice. So I'm waiting on the developer so he can show me around. Cause I know my worth. My time get what I deserve. Trey said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Well, I think you're looking at those first couple of buildings, especially because of where they're at. Young families aren't gonna be in. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so if we if we let the market speak, we've got to take that into account. Yeah. You know, our, we're not gonna have any young pioneers. Yeah. In those buildings. Unless You could, you could, you could with the lower price point. You could, you could have them snatch them up. See, with Sea Pines, you know, that was tough because it was branded as a, as a subdivision that started, stopped, started, stopped, you know? And everybody looked at it as something that wasn't gonna happen. And so we had to fight through, you know, the reputation of the place to get people to feel comfortable that we we're gonna finish this thing out. That was tough. I mean, there was, there was like three years where it was, you know, we were fighting against that, against buyers coming in and saying, we love it, but we don't know. It's already started and stopped three times. We don't know if it... Were the amenities already in at that point? Mm -hmm. That helps. Mm -hmm. That helps. Yeah, but there was vacant land and nothing, had, nothing was going on, you know. And then when we started building them, you know, people gained a little confidence and they started, we're going to have to do the same thing at Wild Palms. You know, it's going to be, it won't happen overnight. We'll just have to, you know, keep working at trying to build the brand of whatever we decide we want, what direction we want to go in. All right, you want to go eat something? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Hey, man, hey, uh, I got with uh, Jim Greg this morning with the submission date to the plan commission, July 15th. So that'll be the August meeting? Uh, it'll be the August meeting. Yeah, yeah. Scott, what's up, buddy? Good, good. Now, where are you at again? Birmingham, yeah, I had to drive to Auburn today. I'm in Auburn. Um, okay, I just talked to Charlie. 
uh, their submission date for everything is going to be the July submission date for the August uh, meeting, the city meeting. So that's what that's what they got going on. They, they the only problem really was about that fire deal, you know, they had with the guy at the fire. But they feel they've got that completely. They, they don't. That's not even a thing to them anymore. I talked to them and yeah, and that was the only issue really. Oh, it's Under Armour. That looks great. New York Life. Yeah, we got to roll. This is cool, man. I mean, under, I wear an Under Armour hat every morning at the gym. Yeah, it is. Sure is, ain't it? You're, you're slowly morphing into the Rickster. I won't stop, no, 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 I won't stop, I won't stop, I won't stop, no, 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 I won't stop. Okay guys, so behind me is Jordan Hare Stadium, home of the Auburn Tigers. The Alabama-Auburn football rival is one of the oldest in history. So I know a lot of you don't know my story with football, so I'm gonna tell you right here. Uh, I got into football when I was in ninth grade. I was the smallest guy in my class. And everybody said, there's no way, not gonna be a football player. So that's when I love to do stuff, is when people tell me I can't do it. So I outworked everyone. Same thing I'm doing in real estate, same thing I'm doing in coaching, I outwork everybody. And I worked my way up to my senior year, being all county, uh, led the team in tackles, and had a full scholarship to Missouri Valley, which is an NAIA school in Missouri. So I'm 18, I'm driving to Missouri Valley and back, 18 hours. I couldn't do that very long, ended up coming back home. I went to Faulkner State, a community college, and wanted to walk on at Alabama. So I go to Alabama, I'm training, I'm doing two-a-days, I'm running miles and miles and miles, and by the time it came that time to go on that walk-on field and make it happen, my body was done. I couldn't take anymore. So that's when I had to take a hard look at what I was doing and try to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with my life. Simultaneously failed a history class at the University of Alabama, realized real estate was one class to get your license, and decided that was going to be my path. So that's my story behind that. I was telling Chancellor James, the NFL, uh, ex-NFL player that uh, I was interviewing on, on my YouTube channel a couple weeks ago, this story. And he has a similar story because when he got to the NFL, his knees were like 70-year-old knees. So anyway, it's the, the, like the energy here at Auburn um, is an incredible energy as well as probably any college campus you go to. Just seeing this, you know, this stadium um, just like gives me chills. So anyway, just want to share this with you guys.